Hello everyone. Uh, so today we will do uh, April 2019 SAT math test section number four. So you can use calculator for this question. So let's see how quickly we can think about this question and how we can solve this problem. Given is quadratic equation. So first thing, how you will recognize it is quadratic equation. We have degree that means highest exponent on variable is two right then where here we have another variable is b it says b is a constant what means of constant constant that means it's just number you can have zero positive number negative number fractions decimal anything it could be it's just number all right and what other information we have here it says has exactly one solution. What is the possible value of B? How we can decide? So what rules we have for exactly one solution? If we remember, we solve quadratic equation by quadratic formula. What is quadratic formula is we have negative B plus or minus B square minus 4AC over 2a so what we can think about here see if we will get here is zero right discriminant whatever under square root that called discriminant so if we will find value b square minus 4 is equals zero that means we will get just one solution if you have positive value then you will get two real solution if you have negative, then there is no real solution, right? Because under square root, we cannot simplify negative number. That's not real number. So from this, what we can decide if we have uh, discriminant is zero, then we can say this equation has one solution. So first thing, what is discriminant? We will just compare this equation with standard form. And we have to make sure we have to make it equal zero. And then you can compare with standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. So what is your a is? a is four, b is b, and c is nine, right? So this value, we will just plug in discriminant. What is our discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. It must be zero. So we will just plug in this value. b is b, b squared minus 4, a is 4, and c is 9 equals zero. So now we have equation with one variable. We can just solve for b, and that is our answer. So b squared minus 4 times 4 is 16, and 16 times 9 is 144 equals 0. So now we can solve for b. So you will get b squared equal, you can add 144 on both sides, and then you can do square root, right? Square root of 144 is plus or minus 12, we have only positive values, so we will choose here B is positive 12. That is our answer. It's not hard. You will just remember this. You can write in your note for your SAT notes what to memorize. So here we have B square minus 4AC equal 0. You can just solve that equation for one variable, and that will be your answer. So if you like to learn more strategy like this, you can go to my website. You can go to my website here and you can check on courses. Uh, I'm offering SAT math course. Uh, right now I have on promotion, it's 50% off. So please check on my website. If you like this video, subscribe my channel. I'm posting my SAT strategy video very often most likely once a week or something like that. Uh, so please subscribe my channel and hit on bell icon so you will get notification. Um, and also please write in a comment, did you like it? Write in a comment, 
what rule you will remember if we have b square uh, minus 4s equals 0 what is solution how many solutions you will get one solution so please subscribe my channel thank you for that and let's see another problem let's see you remember or not so here we have another similar problem it says 20x square plus mx equal negative 5 where m is a constant constant means any number has exactly one solution then find possible value of m so how we can decide now you know discriminant right what is discriminant is post this video and try to do by yourself and come back and check answer with me so let's see we have b square minus 4ac must be zero first thing do we have in standard form do we have equal zero no right so first thing i had to do that step we have 20x square plus mx equal negative 5 so i need to add 5 on both sides 20x square plus mx plus 5 equal 0 now we will just compare with standard form what is our standard form is ax square plus bx plus c equals 0 what is your a is what is b is you can compare this equation coefficient of x which is m and c is 5 so now we will just plug in value b is m so we will say m square 4 a is 20 and c is 5 equals 0. So now we can see here m square equal 4 times 20 is 80. 80 times 5 is 400. So minus 400 equal 0. Then you can solve for m square. We have m square equal 400. And then we can do square root of this. So square root of 400 is 20 times 20 is 400. So plus or minus 20. Then you can check your multiple choice. If you have positive 20, then you can choose positive 20. So that is your answer. I hope you like this video. You like to get this strategy. Whoever is taking SAT test very soon, uh, good luck to them. And you can use this strategy also for your math, uh, algebra, integrated math one and two. Uh, you will see this concept in that math as well in algebra. So good luck to everyone who is taking SAT test. Subscribe my channel and hit on uh, bell icon. Please thumbs up. Thank you very much. See you soon.